A clear and concise guide to the Myers-Briggs personality types. Enjoy! How could each MBTI type be summarized in one sentence? INFP, obscure souls that are dipped in glitter. These obscure souls are dipped in glitter, and we can't get enough of them. They're creative and sensitive, but they don't like to talk about themselves much. The INFP often feels misunderstood because of their quiet ways, however, if you give them the chance to open up, watch out. They can understand people on a level that others can't comprehend which means that sometimes their hearts get broken. That's why it's no surprise that these souls are dipped in glitter. INTP, a Rubik cube in human form, you never know when they're being geniuses or going crazy. Is your friend an INTP? Or maybe you are one yourself. The INTJ personality type is known for being logical, analytical, and objective thinkers who enjoy the company of a few close friends. However, they also have moments where their brilliant minds can't tell when to stop thinking about things that normally seem irrelevant to others. So was it genius or crazy the last time they were in this state? Maybe both. INTJ's Terminator, or the inventor of it. The INTJ is a terrifying creature that can't be caught in their schemes. They have an I win mentality and will stop at nothing to fulfill whatever goal they've set themselves apart from others around them. INFJ, an alien that can read minds and knows information about the new age. INFJs are often lost in their own thoughts and can come off as aloof, especially when they're not aware of what someone is thinking. When an INFJ does read your mind, it seems like magic because they become keenly focused on the other person for a brief moment before returning to themselves. They might say something that has nothing to do with what you were just talking about or ask questions that have no relevance, but there will be some insight into your personality. ISFP, it's ugly until Rihanna decides it is not. ISFPs are known for their sarcasm as well as their ability to sense things before anyone else does. If Rihanna approves of it, then you know that it can be a thing, so for ISFPs, it's the same. ISTP ah Jesus, sans the sentiment. The ISTP personality type is often the life of the party. They love to make people laugh and are always up for a good time. ISTPs enjoy pushing boundaries and making people uncomfortable with their jokes. ISFJ, Arwen in a nutshell. I'm talking about the character from Lord of the Rings, not the elf race. ISFJs are very much like the elves of Tolkien's world. They're pretty reserved and modest, but they can get tough when shit gets real. Generally speaking, ISFJs keep a low profile and show two sides of themselves, one is their true self and the other is an image they want others to believe in. The latter can be so different from the reality that it confuses many people. ISTJ, Law and AMP, Order Law equals Order. They organize things and people the ISTJs are precise, realistic, and responsible. They like to be in charge of an orderly system or organization that they believe in and trust, such as law enforcement. ENFP, Wonderland from Alice in Wonderland. When ENFPs get to know you and discover what you're all about, they become intrigued and want to learn about your passions and interests. They want to submerge themselves in your life and learn how things function. I feel unique when I'm with them because it appears like they genuinely care about me. ENTP, somewhere between Iron Man and the Iron Fist. An ENTP can be incredibly charming and is a master at making people laugh. They know how to inject humor into social situations with their witty one-liners, stories from real life, or impersonations. ESFP, probably your childhood crush or your first car crash. It is hard to decide what you love more about this personality type. On the one hand, they can be charming and playful, but on the other hand, their spontaneity and unpredictability lead to conflict situations in relationships. ESTP, Mr. Bean. He makes fun out of everything and finds joy in everything. ESFPs are fun and exciting. They live in the moment and find pleasure in every moment. 
Adaptable and spontaneous, they love to go with the flow and even enjoy changing plans at a moment's notice. ESTJ, the government. They like controlling things, and they always want to be in charge. They really care about safety and will do almost anything that is necessary to make sure safety is guaranteed for everyone around them. This makes them very protective, and oftentimes they'll see danger where there really isn't any. ESTJs take their job seriously and feel a sense of duty and honor. ENFJ, your knight in shining armor. ENFJ is the friend that anyone would be lucky to have in their life. ENFJs are the most loyal of friends, and they will do anything to help you when needed. They are the ones that will be there for you when no one else will. ESFJ, the cake queen. ESFJ have a very real and powerful desire to make sure everyone in their circle of family and friends is taken care of. ESFJ describes your typical motherly a person, the type who will call you up daily, sometimes several times, to see how you're doing, ensure you're happy with your job slash school, not letting you go out and experience the world alone. ENTJ, Napoleon or Harvey Specter, the boss of your company. ENTJs are natural born leaders. They're happy to take charge, ambitious and driven. They prefer extroverted people with intelligence to back up their ambition. These are just some of the reasons why they make great bosses, whether in your office or in your home. Yes, they can totally be authoritative parents. But don't make the mistake of thinking that just because ENTJs are well-suited to take charge, they don't know how to listen.